Sunderland man was arrested last week accused of threatening to carry out a Columbine-like school shooting at a Franklin County school last week. 22 News reporter David McKay spoke with police and residents about what's involved in dealing with such a threat. An incredible amount of time, resources and effort by police and school officials and an emotional toll on residents. A social media threat of a reenactment of Columbine at Frontier Regional High School caused students to be sheltered in place last Thursday. Police say 19-year-old Nicholas Shore admitted he had researched previous school shootings, had felt a connection to them, and planned on doing the same at Frontier Regional School. Shore, a Sunderland resident, was arrested within an hour and charged with threatening to commit a mass shooting, six counts of threatening to commit murder, and disturbing a school assembly. I think that safety is the number one concern. And I think that it taught everybody an important lesson about safety. It doesn't matter if it's a minor threat or a major threat. It's extremely time consuming. Deerfield Police Chief John Pachorik said that the threat that day occupied 11 police officers for the first half of their shift. Then it took an entire day with overtime for one officer. That's just the start of it. Then you deal with the aftermath of the incident, whether it be emails, phone calls, search warrants, interviewing victims, the prosecution of it, handling of evidence, etc. It's uh, very extensive. Police are seeking a search warrant for Shore's laptop and are looking into other social media threats that have taken place since his arrest. Shore is currently undergoing a mental evaluation at Bridgewater State Hospital and will later go through a dangerousness hearing here in Greenfield. Live from the Franklin County Bureau, David McKay, 22 News.